Hey, I'm Dylan. This is my installation of the Engineered Vintage winch mount for the 67 to 72 K 20 30 truck. If you're really, really weird, you can put it on C10, but I'm going to have to ask you some personal questions if you do that. So the kit comes with two, truck, two brackets for the truck, and it comes with a winch mount right here. And originally I bought the kit a while ago, and I tried to put this in, and I got the frame mounts in, fit awesome, got this piece in, fit awesome, and then I went to put my winch in, and it did not fit at all, which was a big bummer. So I ended up mounting this plate upside down like that, so I could put the winch in the truck and just kind of say I had a winch for a while. Um, so it was not the fault of Engineered Vintage at all, it was the fault of Warren for deciding to make their winches 10 times bigger than they ever were. I was trying to put a uh, Warren VRO8 in it, I think is the winch I have. And it was just, it was too big to fit inside the C-channel right there. And so I talked to Ben at Engineered Vintage, super duper awesome guy, and he gave me this, which is a half inch bigger to so give a lot more space for the, a lot. Uh, gives me a half inch more space in between the C-channel for the winch to actually sit down in so that I can mount it properly, which this is upside down for a lot of people, but for our installation, this is the right way. So I can actually have the cable going through the mount to the fair lead and not have a mess. So let's get to installing this and I hope this is the last time I film this. Okay, so the winch we're working with here, I totally did not just drop out of the bottom of this truck to do redo this video. So to get started, we're going to put this on there. So remember this winch, the way I'm doing it is I'm installing it upside down in this truck. So winch mount upside down. I shouldn't have done that because winch mount like this or winch mount like this because you get the point, I'll film it both together. And it fits so far, awesome. That was already the first struggle that I had with the last time we were trying to put this in. Me and my brother thought, fought it for about two hours trying to get it in there. So this time let's hope that doesn't happen and he's not here. On Instagram, we have kind of like a little, I don't know, it's kind of like a little gang of guys with these trucks that are trying to make them as old manny as possible. So we put on all the hickey accessories. We get all the extra crap that they had on back in the day. We put the stupid toe mirrors back on. And I always think it's really funny how back, oh, early 2000s, maybe I guess, kind of into like 2010, I guess. Every dude that had one of these trucks was trying to hot rod it. So they took off all the stuff that made it a truck and put on like big chrome wheels and stuff and they lowered them down and they did a bunch of crap to them. And I love how now just a little while later we're undoing all that and trying to make it, this is gonna fight me. Uh, we're undoing all of that and essentially trying to make the trucks as unhot rotted as possible. Just kind of fun. And people will tell you that you're gonna get metal slivers and you're gonna die, your hands are gonna fall off and you're... <sighs> We're fine. Okay, so now I got that in. I will add a fair lead to this. I. So with this kit, the way it mounts to the bumper, I currently have one on the bumper, but I do recommend adding a second fair lead to this now that we've got this, because as soon as you put tension on it, if your fair lead on here isn't low enough, it's gonna scrape on this. But if your fair lead on the truck is low enough, then it's probably gonna bend the bumper. So I'm not sure how that works. I don't think enough people have installed them to, to really be an issue, but that's together, so let's get it up in the truck. 
Okay, since I already had this in here, I and I decided just to leave the mounts in here because they're pretty easy to explain how they go in. So there's two sides. There's and there's two. There's two sides and there's two positions. I have mine up in the upper position and you can also flip it around and have it on the lower position. I believe you do that by just swapping left to right side. Uh, I don't understand why you'd want to do that though because then your winch is like hanging down here and you have absolutely no approach angle at all. But I guess if your truck is that high off the ground, it might be kind of handy. So I've got that one in, I've got all the bolts in and that one right there, all the bolts in, all happy. And I was able to also keep my Hickey grill guard, and I was able to do that by uh, I ovaled out the hole on the bottom and I put two notches in it. I really should go back and notch it out the rest of the way, but it's strong enough right now. I, nothing's taking this out of the truck. It's this this winch mount has to add a ton of strength to it because it's basically adding a huge cross member to the front of the truck. So I guess next is to hoist that thing up into there and hope I don't drop it on myself. There are also two sets of spacers that go between those mounts on the frame and the cross member. So I don't know if you need them or not, but I had them in there before. So that makes me think last time I installed it, I probably tried it without them and ended up needing them. So I think the best option would be to tape them together and then to tape them up into the bottom of the truck. That way there's no fumbling around. And now that I'm doing this, the uh, winch mount with the, I'm not sure if the, he offers both styles now or just the bigger ones since it fits all applications, but there's a little bit more space for actually putting the nuts on, which is a very awesome thing. So I'm gonna finish putting these in and yeah. Okay, and as you can see, it is now in. It is right up against the bumper, which is awesome. And that all was pretty much a lie because I actually took it back out. And the driver's side bracket, I had the bolt for the front on the back and vice versa. So the bolt was gonna hit the casing because of how this one is a little bit further forward now. And so I had to take it all apart and do it, but it's all back together now. So just make sure you have the longer bolts in the back so they can actually go. And this side, my flashlight died, but this side, the bolts are right here. So you literally have so much space to work. This one is a little bit of a workout on the driver's side front, but now let's get it wired up. Okay, I've almost got this done. And this, I'm one thing I wanna bring up, when you're mounting these hooks on here, you get your cotter pin, you put your cotter pin in, you get the right size cotter pin, All right, there you go. Get the right size cotter pin, right? And then you don't wad the crap out of it and make it so you can't get it out of there. You grab the wrong tool for the job and you just give it a little, just give it a little, whatever, good enough, I'll do it with my hand. Okay, I was trying to say, all you gotta do is do it like that. You don't have to like wrap those around the pin and make them a pin to get off because you might get stuck and you might want to put a D-ring on this or something else instead of a clamp and you won't be able to. Need to move, I need to cut this out and move the Fairlead back because it's scraping on the actual Fairlead mount. So I'll cut this off and I'll recess this into the bumper and it'll look pretty fancy. But for now, it'll just look, it'll just look like it's new. Okay, so. Got it all installed. Oh, got the cap off. Oh, look at that. I had that cap on and it's already getting all nasty and corroded. So let's address that. There you go. Just give it a little bit of a extra good. All right, and you can see it does, oh, screen's all nasty. You can see it doesn't have too much of a overhang you can't see shit right now this camera's horrible 
but that's it installed so yeah it's pretty good i'll have recess that license plate bracket thing and then um it'll be all good and done so that kind of concludes it yep wait there's more they also make shackle mounts for the front of these trucks this is the 67 to 72 version so this would mount up in the frame rail and then you just sticks down past the bumper and you put a d-ring or hook whatever you want to and these do work with the uh winch mount but i decided not to put them in because i have the uh hooks already on the push bar so those are an option i think they go for like 100 bucks they're not too bad but he's, he gave me these because uh, he was actually super awesome he gave me those and he gave me that piece to replace it because it wasn't the right size but yeah good products put them on your truck get stuck and then you'll have to use them that's now this is the actual end